Hello everyone, today I would like to share a topic that is uh, upgrade the Siemens i7-200 program to Siemens i7-12 controller or TIA portal program. As we know, the i7-200 already phased out a couple years, but we know in industry area, there are still many existing machines still using i7-200 controllers. So maybe the following years, there are still lots of requirements upgrade the existing i7-200 PLC program to i7-1200 programs. So that means you need to upgrade the Step 7 MicroWin program to TIA Portal platform program. But if we search i7-200 upgrade to s 7 1200 if we search this so after search this you will find out some forums still talk about the tool that tools named i7 200 to i7 1200 converter tool but unfortunately if you go deeply search you no longer can find out this tool uh, this tool originally provide from Siemens support industry.siemens.com but however you no longer can find out that that's because this tool i7-200 upgrade to i7-1200 this tool just provided for TIA portal 10.5 and TIA portal version 11 only served for these two versions that because at the beginning version that is the TIA portal version 10.5 that moment a lot of customers convert the i7-200 controller program to i7-1200 TIA portal platform so that moment a lot of customers need this tool to convert their program but however we know that so the currently the mainstream TIA portal version and that is a version 14 version 15 or version 16 already. It's hard to find a TIA portal version 10.5 and version 11, or basically you cannot find the link anymore. But today I will show how to convert uh, the i7-200 program to TIA portal platform. The key answers is we no longer need TI portal version 10.5 and version 11. Actually, what we need, that is a TI Portal version 11 XB2. The key story is that's because TI Portal version 10.5 and version 11, that time, this conversion tool haven't built in to the TI Portal platform. So that's why you need to download this specific conversion tool and use this tool to convert S7200 program. But TI Portal version 11 SP2 is a very special version. This conversion tool already built in the TI Portal version 11 SP2, this platform. So you no longer need this specific tool anymore. You just need to install the TI Portal version 11 SP2. So the next question is how we can download this version 11 SP2. So follow me. So we search supportindustrysiemens.com from here we can search 1064494434 so this link that is a semantic step 7 TI portal version 11 SP2 trial download because basically this trial version will allow you to program 21 days and because our main aim that is to upgrade your existing i7-200 program so that 20 days is enough and I want to talk about a little more on this name version 11 sp2 so if you search version 14 or 15 uh, the name will code version 14 included sp2 that's because version 14 and version 14 sp2 is total different things 
If the code of version 14 included SP2, that means this installation file that's included SP2. If you use this uh, installation file, it will directly install this uh, TIA portal and finally your version that is a version 11 SB2. So this version 11 SB2 here, that's a little bit confused because this version actually that is a version 11 included SB2. That means you do not need to install the version 11 first and install this SB2 after you can directly install this version 11 included SP2 totally. There are two versions, step 7, professional version 11 SP2 and the basic version SP2. To use a better function, we can use the step 7 professional version SP2 because 21 trial days, that's enough for us. You can download those files so after you download all those files, the files will show up like this way. So when you double click this, it will extract to a folder. And after this extraction, it will automatically start the installation process. And other than this, I would like to show the compatibility issues. If we go back to this uh, website, the main website, and we can download this uh, compatibility tool here and search what the operation system compatible with the version 11 SP2. So we can download this compatibility tool, English version, from this Excel file, version 11 SP2 can compatible with uh, Windows 7 and uh, Windows XP. So after you install the TI Portal version 11, it will, the icon on your desktop will show like this. And in this system, it's a demonstration system. And in this system, I installed a Step 7 MicroWin version 4.0 SP9. This is for i7-200 PLC. And this TI Portal version 11, that is for uh, the new controllers, for example, i7-1200 or i7-1500 PLCs. So to upgrade the existing program, this is one project I did before. So if we double click, have a quick look at the existing 1200 program. So in this program, the main program OB1 called a, a two sub program FC100 and this FC100 that is a initial function preset something. This interrupt sub program that is a cyclic interruption program. And in this cyclic interruption program, it call a sub program here. Actually, that is a 100 milliseconds cyclic call. It calls three subprogram here. It has a lot of logic here. And in the 200 program, we can see the 1200 use SM 0, 0.0. This is a system tag that means always on. And some special like uh, SM 0 0.1, that just means the first scan it turned on. Uh, is a, the functions will be used like a initial setting for something. For example, on the first scan of the controller, it will set this 3.14 to this internal tag. And this three program will be called by a cyclic interruption program. That cyclic period that is uh, 100 milliseconds. So I close this. From here, I will use the TI Portal version 11 to upgrade this. So if I open this TI Portal version 11, that is a version 11 SP2. And from here, we ship to project wheel. Click project. We will see here, convert 
i7-200 project. And because this is a version, because this is a TI Portal version 11 SP2, this version already built in this conversion tool. So if we do a quickly comparison, so this TI portal, this is version 12 SP1. So this version SP1 under the project, there is no convert i7-200 project selection here. You may ask uh, what is useful for this upgrade. And because this software that is a version 12 SP1, if you have a uh, one project that is a pure uh, version 12, so this upgrade will upgrade the version 12 project to version 12 SP1 format. So that's why so that's why this version 11 SP2 is a very special version here that provide a tool that can convert i7-200 project. And this version can be still downloaded from the Siemens website. So from here, we convert the 200 project. Under this source, we select the step seven micro wind project. And from this source, we select the existing 200 project, select the open. And this is the target name and the target path. So we select the convert. So this is the process for import the 200 project upgrade to TI Portal Platform project. Okay, it shows the import completed. So let's look at that. So this is very important information. Conversion successful, but it shows there's a note here. We must review and check the converted program to ensure the proper and safe operation in your application. Okay. So let's compare a little bit. So by default, it will convert to a 1200 PLC project. But the PLC, the specific PLC type haven't selected yet, that leave you a free method then leave you a free room so from here you can select or detect your actual controllers by connecting the actual controller go upload the actual controller hardware or from here you can select the actual controller CPU here to use that to replace this uh, uh, unspecified controller Let's look at the program wise. So if we compare with the 1200, so if we compare with this project, we can see the structure is similar. So FC100 in 200 controller, that is a one initial function. And from here, it convert to a FC100 here. And if we open this, in TI portal portion, it will show up an error. That's because SM0.1 no longer supported in TI portal. That makes sense because this SM0.1 is a special tag that is uh, used for a first scan function. And from here, it pop up error. Uh, you can replace it always on and call this FC100 into a OB100 because OB100 in 1200, 300, and 1500 controller, uh, the OB100 that is the initial, and uh, you can call uh, OB100, select the startup, 
and you can select 100 or another number you want and because this organization block startup organization block that is the same function as fsm 0.1 and let's look at the cyclic interruption here and this three function block sub function block coded by a by a cyclic interruption so This three function block will code it by an interruption, cyclic interruption. And after the converted, uh, it, the system generates one OB202 number. You can change this number, and but OB202, this number, firstly, you can change this number. But key things is that this is a cyclic interruption organization block and this cyclic interrupt you can set the cyclic time for example in 200 controller that is 100 milliseconds so from here we can tap in the 100 milliseconds here and click OK and then in this OB202 it automatically call these three functions here FC3 Four, five. But maybe the function is shown that because some tag like VD100 doesn't support TI Portal platform, but if you replace to a M address or a DB, it's very easy to replace. And another thing is And another thing is, if we go to the symbol table in 200 portion, and this is the internal tag list in the 200 controller, and after the converted under the TI portal platform, all those tags converted to a DB1 here, the data block here. So you can find all those tags already be converted here. And you can change the name or you can drag to the different place. But good things is that the basic structure of your program is converted. The key logic is here. Only you need to do is change the name style and change some uh, cyclic or hardware configuration. So that's it for today. The key information is we use the TI Portal version 11 SP2, that's SP2 built in a convert 200 project conversion tool. And this version 11 SP2 still can be downloaded from the Siemens website. And for 21 trial days, use it for upgrading your existing i7 200 project to TI Portal. And after you convert it to a uh, TI portal platform because this is version 11 you can after this you can use a higher version for example version 14 or version 15 upgrade from version 11 to version 14 but that is easy because they are all under the TI portal platform so that is for today thank you for watching if you like this video please give me a thumb up if you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.